I turned the sheep out in the backyard and uh, this is a good time to show you something I have observed. Boy, that she's a pretty one. Uh, she, I think she's my favorite. Uh, and that's when to know they're in heat. Uh, you'll notice that they just hold their tail straight down. You know, unless they're pooping, they're going to hold their tail straight down. You see that on all of them. Well, there's one with their butt sticking out of that, behind that tree right there, and you'll see that her tail is bent. And I'll try to get a better shot of you and show you what I'm talking about. I, uh, I had the rams separated and noticed this morning that some of the girls had got in there with him. And uh, I hadn't really figured out how. There's one place where the fence is not great. But in a year and a half, uh, they've never come through it. But I guess uh, it's cooling off, and I knew they were starting to probably going to start coming into heat. And apparently, a girl wants what a girl wants. So they broke into his pen. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get a better shot. Again, you can see the tails hanging down, just straight down on, on these. And then I'm going to show you a dark brown one with some uh, kind of a tan splotches on her belly and she is the one that is in heat he's already nailed her twice but I also so I know she's in heat but I also noticed yesterday and she's coming out now I noticed yesterday that's that dark brown one right there in the middle not gonna get to see how her tail's cocked to the side whether you can see that or not but it's, it's kind of up and it's kind of bent it's, the tail is bent and it's she's what she's doing is moving it out of the way to receive him. So that's a, a, a one way to tell that uh, I haven't seen it before, hadn't heard anybody say it before, but just from my observation that uh, a sheep is in heat. Now, uh, because sheep, again, sheep have their tail hanging down, goats, tail sticking up. If you see a herd of something out there and you don't know what it is, if the tails are sticking up and they're not taking a dump, it's a goat. Uh, but I noticed yesterday that uh, she was uh, rubbing around on some of the other ewes. She was kind of kicking, pawing at them, not kicking at them, but just kind of pawing at them. So I kind of thought she was in heat anyway. And then again, she, uh, her and some of the other culprits broke in. Now he is not letting her out of his side. He, he is the big white one uh, right there. And uh, let me try to get a look. He is the big white one with the mane in the uh, very middle of your picture and uh, haven't shown him before have had him maybe a month month and a half had him separated again the one right to his left your right uh, the dark brown one kind of behind this other one is the one that I know is in heat and this one here he's been following her and you look at her tail the one in the one right in front of him if I'm pointing I don't have my glasses on uh, she I believe is in heat too, or coming into estrus, um, because she's got her tail kind of bent too. See how it's sticking up a little bit, kind of bent. Uh, so I do believe, because he's been following her, been sniffing at her. I believe she's number 23, and she's, uh, I believe she's next. But I know the one behind her. Now she just laid down, so we're not going to get a good look at her tail. They decided to come in the garage. That's the one. See how she's holding her tail out? It's kind of got, look that bend in it. A little bit of bent to it. That has been what I have noticed. That when they are in heat, that's what they do. They pull their tail off to the side for obvious reasons. When the tail's hanging down, it's blocking the bendness. Okay. That tail bent. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. The dark one. It has bent to the side. That's what I'm talking about. That has been the way I've. That is what I've noticed. That is my observation. And also, she's a little swollen up back there. But then, he's been. <laughs> 
he's been uh, at work, let's say. And he is equipped to do everything he needs to do. But he takes every step she takes. And that is, uh, that's the way. It's the way I tell. And I think he's got a couple more in here, just looking at them now, that uh, he may be a little preoccupied <laughs> with the one he's been uh, worrying all day long. Maybe a little preoccupied with her and hope he doesn't miss them other two that look like they, they may just be coming in. He may uh, notice them tomorrow. Anyway, I just thought I'd let you see them and my new ram. Uh, I think he's going to be a good one. He was a little skinny when I got him. And uh, I've been putting some little weight on him in anticipation of this because they will, they'll follow. Like I say, he's going to take every step she takes, the dark one beside him. Uh, he's going to take every step she takes. And if she's eating, he's eating. But if she's walking, I mean, his mind is uh, on other things right now. So... He's going to lose some weight, especially with uh, I got 15 out here, and if they all come in pretty quick, he's going to he's going to look, lose some weight. So I tried to put a little little weight on him before season breeding season started, and uh, I think it's probably best that I did. Y'all just take a swing. Now if one of them gets in there swings, I'm going to get a video of it. Okay? <laughs> that probably won't happen. All right. Watch it. See how, look at how that tail's bent. And that's what you call standing in heat. If, if, uh, if a ram tries to mount one of these ewes or a bull and a cow, whatever, and, um, and they walk out from under, they're not interested, then they're not quite ready. But when they stand and to receive him, that is called standing in heat, and she is standing in heat because she's standing there waiting on me. Now this morning she was kind of butting him around, wanting to make sure he was the he was the uh, the big guy, you know, the guy. But look at him; he takes every step she takes. Watch. He's not going to let her out of his sight. But look at that tail. And then of course he'll smell and do the lip curl and all that. He was doing that when he first met her this morning. Okay, I think I've interrupted their liaison <laughs> long enough. I think that's it. Take a look at my new ram though, ain't he? A, he's something. He's something. She's bred, write it down. And I'll look at her again 15 to 17 days from now and if she does not come back in the heat, then he got her. Ain't that right, Jack? That's right. We're gone. It's not right. Oh, come on.